What's up, Snake fans? Muscle Serpents Daily is here Monday morning, and I got my super hypo crystal boa here. Let's see if we can get him in the picture here. He's coming out for a little sun today. Look at those blue eyes. Hopefully, he'll be breeding this year. He seems to be doing real good. He's eating well, and he's, uh, he's very healthy, <laughs> as you can see. One of my favorite snakes in the collection. Of course, this is the, the super uh, labyrinth, which we call the crystal. And it's also, I'm pretty sure, super. Oh, got me right in the fucking face. That was not good. That was a nice little bite in the nose. That's right. My crystal super hypo here just gave me a nice little bite to the face. And that's what happens when you put a snake in front of your face and you're doing a video and you're not watching it. You get bit. I got a nice little head bite and a little nose bite. I don't know how we get, I don't know how I got, I must have gotten bitten twice. I may have to slow down the bite and hopefully we catch it on camera here, but I still love him. I wouldn't trade him for anything. <laughs> That's what happens when you, when you act recklessly. Uh, you know, Brian Barczyk does it all the time, but I think I might have him beat here with the, my little nose bite and my little head bite there. Uh, but you know what? It was, it didn't hurt, it, although it did stun me for sure. I wasn't expecting that one. So hopefully you guys are having a great Monday. I'm here overlooking Gator Slough in my backyard here. Plenty of alligators and turtles and fish here. It's the, the wildlife that really, you know, gets me going. And I'm so glad I can uh, share that with you. But let's go into the snake room and see what else is going on. Hopefully I won't take any more bites today. It's Monday. You never know what's going to happen. I always tell you that. While we're on the theme of boas, here is the labyrinth male, the hyperlabyrinth male that is the father of that crystal boy who just bit me in the face. <laughs> he's beautiful. As you can see, that nice, beautiful labyrinth pattern he's got on his body. Uh, the hypo gene, obviously, it, it sometimes erases some of that labyrinth pattern. So this is a hypo labby, and he's gorgeous. And then here's here's the mama down here. I'm debating. I, I still I think she might actually have some babies in there. She's really big, and I have not. I fed her, but I've been feeding her a ton. But she hasn't been really laying on the hot spot. Hopefully, she'll breed this coming season again. I gave her the year off. But I did have a male one with her temporarily a little bit this year, so I don't know. We'll see. She does look big, though. But once again, you can see that nice labyrinth pattern. And once again, the hypo gene kind of can really turn that labyrinth into a single line. That's why I'm pretty sure that the male that I showed you before is a super hypo labby because he has, like, basically no labby pattern whatsoever. He's white with blue eyes because of the super form of the labyrinth gene. Once again, when you have two copies of this <coughs> labyrinth gene, you get a white snake with blue eyes. These snakes have really nice color, even in the single gene form, as you can see. And they have different and varying degrees of expression. That's really what I, I like about the labyrinth. You never get a labyrinth that looks the same. There's, the expression is totally different. Now, when I produced this litter, I kept back the, um, all the crystals, or the two crystals. I sold one. And then I sold all the labyrinths, the single gene ones, but they all looked absolutely different. There wasn't one single one that looked exactly the same. You know, whereas other genes, you know there's not as much variability. So I really, once again, really like this gene a lot and um, I have a lot of future plans, hopefully for it. There's one of my Russo Red pastels. That's the Russo Red line of pastel where I've talked this about this before. Then Russo bred generation after generation of snake picking the most red ones. So this is a line bred trait that's in here. That's not a genetic like uh, morph or anything like that. And he's also, or she, actually she's also Hypo, possible super hypo, and then she's sterling, which is a recessive trait. Two copies of that sterling gene give you a patternless boa. So she is a, once again, all that red is coming from the Russo red. The hypo obviously has enhanced that. Whether it's hypo or super hypo, we're not really sure. And then, of course, the sterling gene will take away all pattern. So she is just gorgeous. Uh, this is one of my 2017 babies. I don't know if she's gonna, I don't think she's gonna be able to breed this year. She'll probably have to wait another year on her, but she's, uh, she's just exquisite. Love her. I can't wait to get her into the breeding program eventually. Uh, she was obviously one of my holdbacks. I actually held back two females because they were so exquisite. So one person got a female for me and I think another person or two people got a male for me. I got kind of lucky on that litter because I bred uh, head to head. So, once again, it's amazing what you can do with a little time and patience. Look at how red that tail is. Love it. Just a little update on my Superfire. That's the 
black-eyed leucistic boa. I, and <laughs> black-eyed leucistic with a lot of freckles. I don't know what those freckles are. I'd love to know what genes are in there. Only Jeremy Stone knows what he bred. I don't even think he knows what he bred these things to, but she definitely has some other genes aside from just fire and fire in there. And she, once again, I bred her last year. This, this past season, she laid all slugs, unfortunately. And uh, I don't know if it was the male's fault or her fault. It seemed like she did her job. The male just didn't come through on me on that one. But once again, another one of my favorite, favorite boas. Look at those black eyes. Look at that long nose. And just really white. It's the only boa that stays white. I mean, you can get albinos and moon glows and IMG moon glows. They just all turn a little yellow. They don't keep that white, white look that the leucistic boas have. And, you know, even the crystal is not a pure white snake. It's a pinkish white snake with blue eyes, which is exquisite in and of itself. But this black-eyed leucistic is just, that's white. A little update on my El Diablo. This is my Honduran T-positive. That is a T-positive albino. Contains some melanin, not a lot. Probably one of the best looking T-positive lines available, I think. The most color, and then of course there's the blood gene in there as well. So you got that T-positive blood. And that came from, believe it or not, it came from my onyx litter. There's no onyx in here, but I got the T-positive and the blood out of it. And <clears throat> this girl started out really red, red, red. Now she's turning like orangey, but she's still just really like electric colored. It's just really nice. Let me see if I can flip her over here so you can see. I mean, look at, look at that. I mean, I've been showing you updates on her over the last couple months, and she just, she's just super, super clean colored. I'm almost wondering, she's probably hypo as well. I'm pretty sure there's a possibility of that. I would probably say this is a bloody T positive. <laughs> so we'll see how she continues to grow and progress. I really like this project and I'm gonna to continue to try to produce more of these. And that's why I held her back. Someone had offered me a lot of money for it, but I, I turned them down. So sometimes you just want the snake and it's not about the money. All right, now this one is another one I produced from last year or the year before that, I should say. And this is a Super Onyx Blood. So you just saw Super Onyx T positive, here's Super Onyx Blood. So there's, there's a whole bunch of different combinations. If I can only get them all together, I'm trying, trying my hardest. So here, this, this guy has got a, a lot of color. Once again, Super Onyx Dark, add blood, show that, that nice red color in the Super Onyx off. Look at that little belly. Once again, we wanna put Hypo in there, we wanna put T positive in there. Anything that lightens it up and makes it more and more red. So this this is a this is a boy. He'll be uh, being put into the breeding rotation maybe this year. Remember, these are dwarf boas I'm showing you. These last couple, uh, all these onyxes and the T positive in the blood, so they stay small. Now this little female I produced this year. This might be every gene in there. This is super onyx blood. Look at those black eyes. Right. Honduran T positive, hypo, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we got anery in here because <laughs> there's no red left. The anery sucked the red right out of my snake. So had there not been anery two, or as we say anery type two in here, this snake could have been the craziest red of all time. So we, this is a plasma, uh, what would we, I guess we would call this a plasma T positive? I don't know, plasma sun glow. There's so many genes here, I don't even know. And once again, I, I'm not sure of it, but I'm, I'm pretty positive just because I have all the other representatives and I can see this snake is almost like whitish looking. And remember, there's no albino in here. This is a T-positive albino. Blood, super onyx, hypo, just a, an enormous amount of genes, really nice looking snake. I can't wait to see it get bigger and grow because as these onyxes uh, and the blood seem to get uh, older, the, all the combination or the epistasis, as we say, all the genes interacting with each other seem to get better, at least what I've noticed. So we'll see. Here it is. I think I'd show you this one too. This is another Super Onyx blood, anery type two. I, my, you know, I didn't even know the aneries were in there. It was These anery genes are in these Central American boas and people don't even know about it. And it, it screws things up sometimes. <laughs> I'm glad it's in there, but more genes the better, right? No, but this is also, this might be the same as the one I just showed you. 
Very, very white looking. I don't think the camera's even picking it up. Let me see if I can move this, this over here so you can get even a better representation of what we're looking at here. Once again, just a lot of jeans jammed into this, this girl. That super, that Onyx combination is just really cool. I'm so happy I brought these over from Frank. I'm gonna be listing a lot of these snakes for sale. I don't know about the, these ones that have 6,000 jeans in them, but I might keep those just to find out what they are. But I'm gonna be listing the, uh, the Onyxes. Here's an Onyx. I'll show you if it's just a regular one. That's a regular one. That's what an Onyx looks like just in the regular form. It's dark. It, it's dark and when in the super form, it loses its pattern and gets darker. If you add hypo, Reds come out that you don't even know where they came from. Blood, obviously, more reds. <laughs> T positive, more reds. And that's the, you know, but you gotta get this onyx into your into your combinations. And all these onyxes, even if they're not expressing the other genes, are 66% het for these other genes. So that's exciting, you know. All right, guys, that's all she wrote today. I took a, a little wound to the head and I gotta go do videos for my bodybuilding channel. The Mr. Olympia competition is coming up this weekend, which is like the Super Bowl of bodybuilding. And I gotta go film and I got, uh, I got snake bites on the middle of my forehead and my nose. I don't think my nose is as apparent. Let me see. Yeah, no man, you can see my nose too. My wife's like, what's wrong with you? She, she'll love to see. If I slow that snake bite down and I send her the video, she'll show it to all her friends and she'll, she'll get a kick out of it. But the bottom line is, we're, are we having fun? We're having fun. And hopefully you guys enjoyed today's BOA video. I know a lot of people have been asking me for more BOA stuff, more BOA stuff, because there's so much ball python stuff out there. I love it all. So I'm gonna show you a little of everything. We got this daily vlog going, so we got plenty of time. If you guys have uh, suggestions, put them in the comments below. Sometimes I don't get a chance to read them right away, but I will get to them. Dave Palumbo. Oh, and don't forget, hit that subscribe button. And make sure you turn on your notifications, hit the like button. We'll see you back tomorrow.